data privacy and the cloud is a special issue. So Eva Aachen thinks about moving the ILIA server into the cloud. Is this decision affected by GDPR? If a question like this pops up in your exam, always you have to think about is there personal data available on this uh, server. So if it is just, let's say, the PDFs and the videos and, and things like that you can watch from the home and there is no information about you nor about the lecturers, then GDPR is not affected, which does not mean we should not protect the data. There's other reasons beside data privacy, but data privacy is not involved. If you have a closer look, for example, you see there is a signature by the lecturer on the PDFs or there is uh, something like exercises and these exercises are connected to a name, then um, GDPR is involved. And we have simply to take care that we follow the rules about, GD, about data privacy. So what does it mean if we go for GDPR, if GDPR is involved, what is the consequence for FA Aachen if you would like to go into the cloud? What we have to assure is that the cloud, the cloud provider is following GDPR itself. And it's not sufficient I would say it's not sufficient that the uh, cloud provider argues, hey, I'm GDPR um, compliant, because you never know. You can state quite many things. And especially when it comes to the big players like Amazon, like Microsoft, Google, they host in, in the US, there are US companies, and these things are always, let's say, at least in a gray zone. The American states argues that you're a US company, so you have to follow US laws, even if the server is located in, uh, in the EU. So you should be uh, careful. You should carefully choose the service, uh, the company where you get the cloud services from. An option could be to end to end encrypt um, all the data so that even if the data is handed out, Nobody can use it. Let's have a look on GPR with some more examples. Right to get an explanation of algorithmic decisions. What does this mean? For example, if we have this online exam and the uh, server is calculating your, is evaluating the, the, the content of your um, answer and is giving then a certain amount of points, you can request to get an explanation about these ones. If you are feeling treated unfair, then somebody, a human being, must explain what has happened. Prohibition of coupling. We are not allowed to simply forward emails to you unless you don't give us permission. Simply because you're um, at the university, um, yeah, we have no, not the right to send you emails. There's a gray zone as well. I'm not sure if somewhere you have signed that we, are, for example, are allowed to forward um, emails in campu via campus to you. If not, if you do not have the permission, we are not allowed to do so. Right to obtain a portable copy. Maybe you would like to swap to another university then you have the right to get all these data we have about you in a, in a portable form, for example, in form of a PDF. For example, all the marks you have gained included with the description of the modules. How is about QIS? So ILIA server, you could maybe argue it's, there's not too much personal data in there when it comes to QIS. Definitely there is, because here we have stored all our information, all, our, all your marks, and of course, this is personal information. 